Hi team, welcome to Cloud Pandit. In this Microsoft Fabric Master Program, in today's session, we will talk about how to add additional columns or you can say uh, audit columns during the copy activity. Let's say we are copying data from Lakehouse input folder to the Lakehouse output folder. What I want when I'm copying data from source to target is I want to add some of the columns like what is the source file that you are copying then i want to know uh, like what is the ingestion date like when you are ingesting then ingestion year ingestion month ingestion day so as you know ingestion year ingestion month ingestion day we can able to use in the partition columns to improve the performance that's why we want to add all these five columns so during the copy activity let's understand how we can able to implement this particular lab so for this lab what i'll do i'll create a one source lake house one sink lake house Let's go to my workspace. In my workspace, I'll be creating a lake house. So this is Cloud Pandey source, okay. Source lake house 001. Let's create this source lake house 001. So in this source lake house 001, I'll be uploading a, like I'll create an input folder. Inside input folder, I'll upload the some files. Let's understand that. So what I'll be doing, I'll be creating a, input folder here so once i create the input folder now let's upload the file so click on this click on upload upload files browse it i'll go to the cloud pandit data sets so type on comma i go to level folder here i have monthly file weekly daily weekly monthly files i have so i'll be just uploading all these files now you can just upload all of these three files into the input folder okay now you can just click on this input folder you can able to see these three files now what i want to do i want to combine all these three files and create a credit summary file in that credit summary file i want to combine all these data along with that i also want to know which records came from which file and what date the, these records are ingested what is the ingestion year? What is the ingestion month? What is the ingestion day? All these five columns I want to add it. So for that, let me create a, my output lake house. Let's click on this, go to lake house, give it as a cloud pundit sync lake house 001. This is a sync lake house. In the sync lake, lake house, I'll create the output folder. Let's click on this, click on the new folder. Let's create an output folder. That's it. So once we are done, we can go to my workspace again. I can click on the data pipeline. Okay, so this pipeline you can see here for data ingestion generic because it is not only for daily or weekly monthly, which is a generic which combines all or daily, weekly, monthly, or daily, monthly, weekly data, it is going to merge it. That's why I have given the name as a PL data ingestion underscore generic. Now you can just add the copy activity click on this add to canvas so now let's select what is our source our source if you see uh, within the lake house lake house is our source source is source lake house okay within the source lake house i want to basically select my folder okay wildcard file path i need to select the folder as input this input is a folder from which all the files whatever files are there start you need to use wildcard file in a star I want to take all the files from this particular folder. Okay, so these are a basically delimited text files. You can say the format is delimited text. In order to add the additional columns, come down, you can see additional columns. Here I'll be adding total five columns. Okay, total five columns. So first one is called a source file name. Okay, source file name is going to be file name. You just have to say dollar dollar file name. Next, I need a ingestion underscore date then i need ingestion underscore year then i need ingestion underscore month i need a ingestion underscore day so for this ingestion date how you can able to generate is add dynamic content here you need to use the uh, there is a function called utc now only utc you can able to generate the date okay so there is a function called utc now what i want to do this UTC function will generate the time in UTC that I want to convert from UTC to IST. So that's why there is a function called from UTC. Okay. 
So you can see convert from UTC. You can just click on this. So within this particular function, it so this function generates UTC. This function converts this particular UTC into the India standard time. Okay. So once it generates this date in the India standard time, now I want to format that date. Okay. Format the date time is a one more function we have. What it does, whatever format you want, you can able to keep it here. I'll say yyy -Y 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 mmdd okay, in this format i want the date that's it just to take the same formula click ok so here again you need to click on this come down add dynamic country put the same formula so from this particular format date time i want to take only the year so that's why i'll be putting yyyy -Y -Y to get the year same function you can put it here add dynamic content here you can put the same formula here i need a month so i'll be using a m m capital m m you need to use for the month for a day you can use add dynamic content here same thing you just have to keep the dd for getting only the day data <clears throat> okay this is how we just added the five columns audit columns now come to destination so within the lake house i want to copy this particular data into the sync lake house what will be the folder so in the folders i'll be just browsing here output so within the output, I want to load the data. Okay. Let's select here. Okay. So you can able to see your output side. I just selected the output folder. Now we can click on the advanced. Within the advanced, uh, if you open, you can see copy behavior is merge files because source side I'm getting a three files, but sync side I want to merge them into a single file. What is that single file? You can say credit underscore summary dot csv credit underscore summary dot csv i'm just mentioning that's it tim you can just validate the pipeline so there is no errors found you can save this particular pipeline once pipeline is saved you can able to run the pipeline let's run this okay so you can go to output you can see the pipeline run details here let's refresh this So let's wait for a second. We can able to just click on this copy activity to see the status of this copy activity now. So you can see the copy activity is now succeeded. Okay. And if it is not coming here, what you can do, you can just go to monitoring hub. So just click on this particular pipeline. So now we can see under this it just open, right? So we can just click on the copy data one. So you can see three files are read and only one file it has read, written. 36 records it read and 36 records it has written. Because from each file, 12 records it read, 12 into 3 is 36. Those 36 records it has written into a single file. Okay. We can also see the sync lake house, right? In sync lake house, we can just open this output and click on this, click refresh to see that particular file, whatever is copied into the output folder. So this is the file. Click on this file. We can able to even preview the data, whatever data is written into this particular file. We should be able to see ingestion. Yeah, so you can able to see. So all the credit ID card type, you can see this is a weekly record. This is a monthly record. This is a daily record. This again, weekly, 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 weekly records. Again, daily, daily, daily records. We have monthly records. We have, you can also see. So year is uh, ingestion, uh, ingestion date, ingestion year, ingestion month, and ingestion day. So all the data is coming properly. And uh, if you if you want to know, you can also see so daily file which is having a total record. First way is at the total to show 13 records, right? Similarly, monthly you can see 13. First way is at the so total records. Weekly you can see 12. Okay, all this data we have written into a single file in this lake house along with the file ingestion columns. So this is how you can able to add the additional columns during the copy activity, which will be very very important in real time. So in most of the cases, we'll be using this particular 
additional columns to add audit columns, which helps to partition the data when you are creating external tables and all. You can use this uh, partition by uh, ingestion, uh, year ingestion, month ingestion, which improves the performance for querying the data. Yeah, thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to uh, put your questions in the comment section and uh, please subscribe my YouTube channel and increase. Thank you.